Hey, what's up guys? This is Hardy Quest with the Ninja Every Day. And I'm about to spend a weekend out in the woods uh, working with a, a local Boy Scout troop doing some wilderness skills. And I'm gonna be sleeping. I'm gonna be uh, making my headquarters out of my Nemo Dagger two-person tent. And I wanna do a little review. I've had this tent and I've used it twice, but I've not done an official review. So I just wanna show some of the cool features of this Nemo Dagger and, uh, and let you guys know why I think it's one of the most intelligently designed tents that I've ever slept in. So here's a look at the Dagger two-person without the tarp. Real spacious tent, bathtub style floor, all seam sealed. One of the neat things about it is this tent pole setup. All this is one piece and attaches together and you know, it has those standard shock cords or bungee cords in it that keep the poles together. <clears throat> but the shape of it and the way it connects to the tent really increases the spaciousness of the tent. In particular, this crossbar here, right? It's attached by this sort of uh, silicone feeling or plastic feeling piece, uh, coupler, coupler there. And then it runs out and the end of it sits in this little hole. There's a little circular shape piece. Hard for me to show clipping it in because I'm filming it by myself, but they just, just clip right in there. The same sort of connection point is down here on the bottom where the tent pole just clips right in. <clears throat> the footprint just clips right to the bottom of these. It was really impressive. It all just goes together. So when I pack this thing up, I can leave the footprint attached and just roll the tent up and it fits right in the bag. So speaking of the bag, the bag itself is really neat. You can take it and actually cinch it shut at this bottom drawstring and just carry the tent itself in this. And then you can take the tent pole bag and the stakes together and give it to another person in your party and you can split the load of your tent. So one person can carry the body of the tent with the tarp and the other person can carry the stakes along with the poles. That's what my wife and I did when we were hiking the Kalalau Trail in Kauai. The tent stakes that they send seem really well made but very light. They've got these um, reflective bits on the cord so you can see where they're at as you're walking through at night and it's got this little hook which will grab the cord on the bottom of the on the bottom of the tent itself and connect to the tape the the stake so you get a good good grip without having the stake bent over at an l like some of those traditional stakes okay so i'm putting the rain fly on and I wanted to show you how these connections work. This is the end of the rain fly, and it has this cool little plastic hook that's built in. It's adjustable so you can cinch it down or tighten it up. And at the bottom of the tent pole where it sits, there's an extra little piece, and this little thing just hooks. As you can see, it just clicks right in. Uh, it was a little harder for me to do it there because I'm doing it one-handed. One hand's holding this camera. But you can see now it's secure. And again, I could cinch it down and tighten it up just with one finger if I need to. And that's all the way around this tent. Right? The other side is a different color just so that I uh, it helps me orient the tent so that lime green side connects to that lime green corner where these other... Uh, pieces with the black nylon connect to the other black corners. Really, really intelligently designed so you don't wind up putting the tarp on upside down. So here we have it with the rain fly on, all staked out. Nemo has two vestibules, one on each side. So lots of space to like keep your boots, any gear outside, lots of uh, tie out points with again the reflector pieces on it. The vestibule comes with a little piece that lets you hold this rain section off so you don't you can uh, prop it open and you don't have water running in 
Runs all the way down. The vestibule stakeout points are adjustable, so you can lengthen or shorten those as you need, which is really intelligently designed. And next we'll go inside and show you the view from inside. All right, so here's the view from inside. I'm sitting fully upright and I still have some overhead space. It's got some hooks on the top so you could hang a little clothesline or uh, hook up like a little lantern or reading light or something in here. It's got these pockets on the corners so you keep your headlamps and things like that quick at hand. There's one on each of the corners. Again, it comes seam sealed with this bathtub type floor. I'm gonna lay all the way out here. So I'm down, my head's not touching the wall and I have over a foot of length between the bottom of the tent and my feet. So probably could sleep comfortably a seven foot tall individual in here. I don't know that because I'm not seven feet tall, but you know what I'm saying. So that's it, that's the Nemo Dagger two-person tent. I'm gonna set my gear up pretty soon and get set. Uh, I'm gonna sleep in this for a couple of nights this weekend and uh, when everything wraps up and I put it up, I'll give you my impressions again after sleeping in it. Now, it's not my first time sleeping in it. Again, I've used it twice before, once in this very spot and once on the island of Kauai. We went and did the Kulalau Trail and used the tent there. I, that was my first time using the tent and I wanted to set it up first. Uh, so I set it up in the um, condo that we were renting to make sure that I could set it up. Then we packed it up. When we got to the Kalalau, it was easy enough for me to set it up that we did it at night when I was completely, completely exhausted. The reason we didn't film it while we were there is because everything was dark and we were so smoked. I was afraid that we wouldn't even make it off of the trail the next day. So I'll give you my impressions after I sleep in it for a couple of nights. But again, this is the Nemo Dagger two-person tent. I like two-person tent because that's me plus my gear. All right, friends. Deuces. All right, guys. This is the end of my two-day uh, camp out uh, or two-night camp out that I had out here in North Carolina working with a group of Boy Scouts, practicing some wilderness skills and this is my Nemo Dagger two-person. This was my base for the uh, entire weekend and it performed great. Didn't rain, but we did have some condensation this morning, some dew outside, nothing inside the tent. I did have my tarp up, but I kept the door open as I slept, uh, or I kept the vestibule rolled back as I slept. So I had a great bit of uh, ventilation and breeze. So I I'm really enjoying it. It gives me a lot of room to set up my gear. It's really comfortable, it's super light. Uh, it's 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 spacious, but it'll work as like a base camp tent, but it'll also work well as a backpacking tent. So I'm going to go up to the mountains next weekend, and I'm still considering, like, should I bring my tent or should I bring my hammock? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash it. All right, friends. Deuces.